Do you want a way to automatically monitor your internet connection? Would you like to have a graph that shows you as things progress if there may be a problem? Well, stay tuned and I'm going to show you how to do this with Speed Test Tracker and Unrate. Welcome to another edition of Tech Bytes with Ryan Nutter, your home for all things relating to smart home technology. In this episode, we're going to talk about how to monitor your internet connection using Speed Test Tracker and Unrate. Hi, I'm Ron Nutter and we're going to be working on this together. This content is also available as an Amazon flash briefing or podcast. Please go to techbytesworthronnutter.com for more information. For any items mentioned in in this episode there are affiliate links in the description if you click on these links i will get a small commission but that won't affect the price you pay for the item if you want to get notified when new content is uploaded please click on subscribe and enable notifications here we're going to be covering this video about monitoring your internet connection using speed test tracker and unrate first what is speed test tracker it's a little bit different than what you may be thinking about the required items you're going to have to have installing speed test tracker then looking at some test results. Speed test tracker is something that's a little bit different. Just to set the proper expectations here, this is not going to give you your true internet connection because once you leave your internet provider's network, the speed you get is, especially if you got, say, like a gigabit fiber connection, you're not going to get true gig all the way across the internet. There's going to be some bottlenecks or constraints that's somewhere in the process. What this will do will get you a reasonable expectation, and let's switch over to the page here, of what it's taking to get to a particular host. And at the end of the day, that really is about all I think this reasonable to expect because this way you can see what's going on if the upload or download is changing and then there's going to be probably some other tools you'll want to get a hold of that will help you further isolate where the problem is because I've got a gig fiber connection and the speeds I'm seeing are a fraction of what I would think I would see but realizing again the site that I'm going to is off my ISP's network. So this is going to be a handy thing to have. Let's go through the installation and you'll see it's at least a tool. If you start seeing a gradual decline, then that may indicate a problem on your local end, but at least it's giving you some information to work with. Well, now we're going to get about installing speed to test tracker. We'll click on install. Normally, I would run things that are not critical to where I have to get them from outside of the Unraid slash Docker server. I would run them in bridge mode so I don't eat up an extra IP address. Unfortunately, this application is one of those ones that doesn't seem to deal with that well. So we'll give it a address that's out of my pool and we'll leave everything else the same. And we'll just click apply. As you are installing your latest smart home device, Grab a copy of my smart home checklist. This will help you record information about each device as you set it up. This will prove helpful when you need to find out where to get the firmware updates from or support on that device. You will be subscribed to my email list in exchange for the checklist. I won't share, rent, or sell your information to anyone. Now I'm going to show you a little trick on being able to tell if the installation is going through or not. And if you see this long string of numbers and letters, that's the container ID out of Docker. If you don't get that, then that means probably the installation is going to fail. But at this point, it finished successfully. So we'll click on done and then we'll go over here to Docker and we'll click on the icon and then we'll go down here to logs. Because if we want to see if it's finished, then this is a good indication of, oh, we didn't accept the EULA. All right. Lesson learned, sometimes you have to go through and hit the other options. So what we can do here is we'll go down here to edit and we'll show more settings. Oh, here we go. We missed it right here. Oh, click accept in UL. So we just change that to true and we'll click apply. It'll have to do a very brief recompile. It's already got the image in there. So it takes it just a second here. And now when we go back through, we'll click on the icon and go down here to logs. Okay. This tells us exactly what we need to know. It's everything's up and running. It's copying the latest config it's running a database migration which should fix things momentarily okay this is good why it's migrating i don't know but that that's fine we're going to get what we need here in just a second okay so we should be good to go there so now if we go to web ui okay it's still getting ready it's going to take it just a little bit here to get up and running we can go back and look at the logs one more time to see if it's finished okay it's still working on it. so this is a good indication of when it's going to be ready by because some of these docker containers i work with there was one i was working with the other day that took almost 40 minutes and i had been struggling for days trying to figure out why it wasn't responding okay here we go not enough arguments okay i've seen that message before okay starting services okay now finally it's going to be done so we'll go up here to web ui this shows you what it's going to look like when it's 
ready to start its first test and it will test pretty much on the hour you can always start your first test so that's not a problem but just to save some time we'll go over here to the other Unraid server I've got and this shows you what it's going to look like after well, it's been running for about a week now and it will give you an idea of upload and download speed again if you've got like a high speed connection like I do don't be shocked because I have run other tests that have run much higher but this is giving you what I call a real world experience to know what's going on so it shows you how the upload and download is varying and at one point it looks like at about 3 p.m it took the the ping time was really high and I don't put a whole lot of stock in ping but it at least an indication if, of how long it's taking to get to the site. So this shows you the differences between the upload and download speed. And I, as I've had it up longer each day, and I've this is a server I normally don't leave up, so there would always be a variation of how many tests it's running in a day. And you can see it shows last seven days, and it's only been up and running for three. So I said I had it up for seven earlier. I was incorrect. You can go in here and change how the graphs work. The you know there's notifications you can do. All these are things you can tweak with. But this is something just to give you uh, gives you a bird's eye view of the connection that you've got up and running to a specific site that's out there. There are other other speed test containers available for Unraid. And even on the Docker site, I'm sure you'll find some others. But this at least gives you one perspective on things. And I'm going to be looking at some of the others because I always like to have more than one view. But this at least shows you what accessing one site is going to do. So if you start seeing connection problems that don't make sense, then this gives you yet more information to work with. So when you have to go talk to the ISP and they say, well, it's not our problem. If the connection speed's continually going down, then I would say it's very possible that it's something that they would need to look at. But again, at least it gives you more information. If you're watching this on YouTube, you will see videos on the screen that are similar to the one you've just watched or other content that YouTube thinks you might be interested in. If this video helps you or provides value, please click on that like button, thumbs up. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel, please click on subscribe now and enable notifications. We'll see you in the next episode. Thanks for watching.